Hey everyone, Pets Card Collection back at you with another rip. In today's video, I picked up a hobby box of 2020 Topps Heritage. Just came out, so I'm pretty excited to open this up for you guys and share the product, give you guys a first glimpse at what you can expect if you decide to pick up a box of this. Um, I got this from my local card store and I paid a, a hundred bucks, so that's pretty much the price it's going for now. Uh, it's a little pricey, so uh, they did have blaster boxes as well, which is another option. But I'm pretty excited for this product. Um, I've been I've been watching some uh, early openings, and it seems like there's a lot of really really cool inserts and short prints you can get, and action variations, um, dual rookie cards, a bunch of stuff on card rookie on card autographs, relics get a cool box topper I'm pretty sure and I think there's you have a chance at getting a hot box I think it's one box in every case is a hot box and I'm pretty sure hot box means that uh, every pack has one of those pink chrome cards which is pretty crazy uh, which I guess gives you an incentive uh, probably to pay more for a box with the chance to pull to get a hot box um, but so far from what I've seen from these cards, the design is awesome and it's modeled after 1971 tops. The only thing is some of them might, they might be hard to grade because due to the black backgrounds, uh, they can get some whiting on the sides very easily or nicked up here and there. Um, but here are the odds. So majority of these hobby boxes, you're gonna get a relic in, but who knows, maybe we can pull, pull a nice rookie auto. They got those handwritten numbered cards, which are really, really valuable. Um, I think they have both handwritten short print, just regular cards and short print handwritten autographs. Um, but then again, I'm still learning the product. So uh, let's see what the base is. Um, so ends in 13, it looks like. Yeah, so 13's a base. Um, if I miss any short prints that you see, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm not gonna check every card just due to time constraints and for your consideration, but I am gonna keep an eye out. So we got this uh, Carlos Correa insert card and a Williams Acedillo. Appreciate you all checking out this video. Hope you're all doing well. Curious to know if you've uh, opened any of this yet or um, seen any really nice polls or let me know what you think of this product in general. Um, ooh, that's a t nice Tatis. That's a rookie cup Tatis. Is this a short print? Yeah, it's a short print. We got a short print, ends in 2.7. That is a Fernando Tatis short print in the first pack. So very nice. Um, put that on a stand. I'm actually gonna move these packs to the side so you guys can actually see the cards I'm putting on display. <clears throat> um, where was I, where was I? Uh, I think that was the last pack. Arenado. Tyler Naquin, and yeah. So off to a pretty good start. Got a Tatis sh short print. Oh, that's a hard one to get. Don't think this is a hot box, otherwise we would have realized by now. Anyway, we just got a nice Will Smith cup card. That's cool. Nice Gary Sanchez. Those horizontal cards actually don't look too bad in this in this product, the black and white. Dylan Cease, Zach Collins, dual rookie card. And we got this cool candlestick park of Willie Mays. That's a nice little insert. Keller, Mazzara, Mustak. 
Eustachus, and Eaton. So far, I'm, I'm seeing more like dual rookie cards as opposed to like just regular single player rookie cards. I'm not sure if that's throughout the entire series or not, but I don't know how I feel about that. I personally like when they had like the single uh, rookie card, but you know, each product's different. It's got its own little nuances and can't be the same as everybody else. Otherwise, you know, nobody can want to buy it. So I completely understand that. <clears throat> Devers, Hap. Not much doing in that pack. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. This is a nice triple relic, uh, or not relic, rookie star of Lazardo, Puck. They're both really good. Don't know much about Zach Brown. Um, Markakis, that's a cool one. Jim Palmer and Garrett Cole then and now. Altuve. And a Baez and Munoz rookie. So they definitely got the card stock definitely feels vintage. They definitely got that down well. It's not just like a one of those insert uh, replicas. Ooh, it looks like we got some chrome. I'm going to put that in the back. <clears throat> I think it's a black chrome. Got a Hicks. And it's a Justin Verlander black chrome. These cards are actually pretty sweet. That's numbered to $9.99. So not bad there. Let's see what we get. Would have liked it a little better before the scandal, but hey, I mean, I'm sure there's still some Astros fans out there that might think that card is cool. This card feels... Uh, it doesn't. Washington Nationals celebrate the World Series. That's a pretty sweet picture. Put that over here. Got a Lindor. Uh, Corbin. Insert. Sean Manea. Luplo. On to our next Yeah, definitely going to have to go back and check all the serial numbers because it's just hard to tell uh, first glance, especially without even really seeing much of this product, which ones are uh, different backs or action variations or any kind of short print. That's a cool Daredevil, a uh, little non-baseball insert. Cody Bellinger. be sweet to get one of those relic autos <clears throat> but chances are very very slim I honestly haven't even seen the checklist for the autographs or just the product in general I'm, I, I'm guessing it's mostly rookie autographs but usually you have a chance at getting uh, more experienced players autographs or just veteran guys or second year or non-rookies pretty much um, Gratterall, that's the guy that was just recently in that trade. Pretty nice. Grichuk and Bradley. So I say overall, I, I like this product. I mean, it's a little pricey um, for a relic, in my opinion. Um, but... It is a new product, and they do have a lot of cool short prints. We got a new age performers of Vlad. That's pretty nice. Not numbered, but still a cool insert card. Aaron Sanchez. 
Anderson and Zimmerman. I think Zimmerman signed a one-year deal. Come back with the Nationals. I'm pretty sure he's been with the Nationals pretty much forever. Uh, ERA leaders card. Suarez. Buffalo. Uh, Aaron Saval and him rookie card. Bubba Starling, been a rookie for a while. I think he's like 27 now. Encarnacion. Getting down to the nitty gritty. So it looks like the relic will be in the third stack. This is the last pack of the second stack. Got an insert of then and now Joe Torrey and Yelich. Ottavino. It's just nice to be opening some new, some cards I've never seen before. Um, just recently I've been kind of slower in terms of, not in terms of posting stuff, but in terms of just ripping stuff, uh, newer stuff, or I guess bigger products. I've been doing more collection reviews and whatnot, but it's always refreshing to open some fresh packs of 2020 baseball. Um, Simmons. Soroka, New Age. Very nice. Van Meter. Sam Hillard. Hilliard. And Nerys. That's a nice one. Aquino and Alvarez, Rookie Stars card. That's actually really nice. Put that on a stand. Dietrich, oh, or I'll put it in front of the stand so it slides right down. Uh, Brennan McKay, Brousseau, that's a good one. And Tommy Edmond. Not sure what the next 2020 product that comes out, but I'll have to check it out probably in a couple weeks or sooner than that. Who knows? Uh, another insert, Moogie Betts. Yeah, I've got a feeling I probably went over <clears throat> a short print or two, but I mean, the Tatis one is sweet. Got the Verlander 99. Jordan Aquino, Quino, however you pronounce it. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Johnny goes double yard at Atlanta. It's a nice little flashback card. Kipnis. And Mr. Plesak. So down to our last four packs, and then we'll do the Super Baseball Heritage Box Topper. So it looks like it's going to be, our hit's going to be in one of these later packs. Um, Tyler Beatty, Cueto, and Murphy. Last three packs. Here we go. Here we go. Top 2020 Heritage. Let's go. Let's go. It's a nice one. Uh, Marisnik. Rookie star. Justin Wilson and a Barrios. So not much doing in that pack. Uh, not seeing anything thick in here either. Hopefully I didn't... Uh, I don't know. Still don't see anything. It's a beautiful day in the Glaberhood. Glaber drives in five. Doesn't surprise me. Tanaka, another Willie Mays. Polo Grounds insert. Luke Voigt. And Hater. So, last pack. This should be the hit. Otherwise, I might have won Yeah, this is the hit. It looks like we got the relic in this pack. 
We'll slide to the back. Mike Clevenger, Robbie Cano, Bo Bichette, rookie. That's a nice one. Pujols, Garver, and the hit is a Gio Urshela game used jersey. It's got a little a little bump. I don't know what's if there's a little piece under it or if that's just part of the card. But yeah. Uh, that does it for the break. I'll do just a, I'll show you guys the better four cards I got. And then you could go back and see all the other inserts and rookie cards I got. But yeah, we got this Yershella Tati short print gold cup, Verlander chrome to 99, and Alvarez Aquino dual rookie card. So overall, I think I did pretty well. Um, pretty happy with this box. Got a lot of cool inserts, rookie cards, short prints, and a relic. So can't complain. Uh, I'm curious to know. What you, I'm curious to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.